Hello everyone, good day. So we are now on module 3 and our lesson for this week is all about the analysis and interpretation of financial statements using vertical and horizontal analysis. But before that, uh, let us have a short recap on last week's lesson which is about the review and preparation of financial statements. So last week, uh, I discussed about the five financial statements. Uh, these are the statement of financial position, statement of comprehensive income, statement of changes in shareholders' equity, statement of cash flows, and the notes to the financial statements. So aside from that, we also discussed about uh, the elements of financial statements. So we have assets, liabilities, and equity, which can be found at our statement of financial position and income and expenses which we can find at our statement of comprehensive income so these five things uh, assets liabilities equity income and expenses are called elements of financial statements then we also have um, operating investing and financing activities which can be found at our statement of cash flows. So these are the firm's cash activities. Now, um, for this week, like I said, uh, our lesson will be about the analysis of financial statements um, using horizontal and vertical analysis. So our learning goal is that by end of our, uh, by the end of this module you should be able to analyze and interpret uh, trend ratios. So financial statement analysis. Uh, this involves careful selection of data for us to be able to assess and evaluate the firm's performance during the period in comparison to previous periods, its present condition, and future business potentials. So why uh, financial statement analysis is used so that um, we may, uh, we're able to judge, uh, assess, evaluate the firm's performa performance and uh, we can also compare kung unsa atong performance karon nga period, like karon nga year, compare nato siya sa atong performance from the previous years or pwede nato siya i-compare sa performance sa uh, atong competitors sa industry. Then, what are the objectives of financial statement analysis? So first, we have profitability of the business. Uh, if you can remember, well, uh, the main um, concern of a finance manager is diba, to increase the shareholders' wealth. So, kung saan natin pagkahibaw nga nag-increase ang shareholders' wealth? So, we can use financial statement analysis uh, to know if nag-increase pa tong shareholders' wealth. Uh, makahibaw ta if naka-generate ba tag profit or kung ni-increase ba ang value sa atong firm. Next is, we have the ability to meet its uh, obligations. Ma using uh, financial statement analysis, makadetermine ta if kaya ba nato mo pay or mo, or mo fulfill sa atong liabilities. Then, makaiba po ta if liquid ta or solvent ba ang atong business. Then, we have safety of the investment. Um, makaibaw ta if hapit na ba ta ma-bankrupt or nag-need ba ta more capital na i-invest sa atong business. So, makaibaw ta na using financial statement analysis. Then, next is effectiveness of management in running the firm. So, makaibaw ta if ang atong resources uh, well used ba na siya tanan uh, ang atong uh, assets nagamit ba in its full potential ang atong labor uh, force is enough ra ba para sa atong operations and kanang magneed ba tag more financing nga na o kanang ang atong nga giutang is nagamit ba siya sa operations or enough ba ang atong giutang nga na so makahibaw ta sa effectiveness sa uh, kana implemented management uh, rules using financial statement analysis. 
So, what are the steps in the financial statement analysis? First is, we have to establish objectives of the analysis. So, nga naman, uh, nga nang mag-conduct ng tag-analysis para asa man. So, dapat, ang, uh, before ta mag kanang uh, mag analyze is kani ang atong first buhaton na tay objectives kana na tay objectives kung ngano nganong mag-analyze mo ta so dapat nato siya i-determine first then second is to study the industry industry where our business belongs so dapat uh, not just the industry but also ang current economic situation nga giface sa atong business so like for example uh, karon pandemic man ta so unsa man nga industry ang affected sa pandemic so natay tourism industry kanang mga airlines mga restaurants so na na uh, dapat magstudy ta sa kung unsay nahitabo sa industry the next is study the firm's background and management quality so Aside sa industry, aside sa economic situation, of course, mag-study po ta sa kung unsa, unsay background sa atong firm or kanang unsay unsay quality sa iyang management like unsa ang unsa nang mga unsay dili sad personality pero what kind of people are managing our business. So, kanang mag background uh, mag background check ta sa reputation sa atong mga gipang hire and also mag check pud ta sa kung unsay reputation sa atong firm so for example uh, ang reputation di ay sa atong firm is uh, good bitaw ang pagtan-aw sa mga tao so mag expect ta nga ang atong uh, mga ratios na makuha is medyo taas-taas nga na or or kanang ang atong reputation or ang reputation sa management is nakay nadunggan nga kani si kani imo imo di ang gihire nga manager is medyo sketchy di ay ang iyang kuan iyang work ethic so probably uh, kana nga information is maka-affect na siya sa atong FS analysis the next is Evaluate the financial statements using techniques available. So, unsa man, man yung mga techniques? So, natay horizontal analysis, natay vertical analysis, then napod tayo financial ratios. So, kaning horizontal o vertical, ato na siyang i-discuss karon. Then, ang financial ratios is discuss na na to, uh, sa module 4. Then, napoy na, laing mga techniques available, pero kanang tulo is mauna at ang atong focus. The next is, summarize results of the studies and the evaluation conducted. So, i-summarize na to kung unsa tong mga na kita, unsay result sa atong pag-evaluate using the techniques. The next is, uh, develop conclusions relevant to the established objective. So, from the results nga atong gi, atong nakuha, uh, mag-develop tag conclusions, magamat tag conclusions nga based rapod sa atong objectives. If ni match ba siya sa atong objectives nga atong gi establish at the start of our analysis. So, first we have, uh, for the first technique that we will discuss is vertical analysis. So, vertical analysis is the process of comparing figures in the financial statement of a single period. So, kung 2020, kung 2020 na FS, kanang 2020 na FS or dun atong gamiton for vertical analysis, then each line item is expressed as a percentage of a base figure. So, if ma-convert na na nimo ang tawag ana na statement is common size statements. So, ang formula is ang uh, percentage equals ang line ang uh, component sa FS divided by atong baseline item times 100 para makuha ang percentage. So, for example, naani siya sa inyong module. 
natai assets nga 32, accounts receivable 15, prepaid expense 12, then ang atong total assets is 357,000, then ang atong total current liabilities is 49,000. So, unsaon man na siya? So, using total assets or total liabilities as our base, so, um, kuhaon na to ang cash, vertical analysis sa cash. So, di ba natay cash nga, uh, okay, uh, by the way, mag-need di ay tag calculator. I hope na may calculator. Mag-need ta ani for kuan solving, solving or Anal, uh, vertical and horizontal and maski sa financial ratios magneed tag calculator so going back uh, unsa to magkuha ta sa vertical analysis sa atong cash using total assets or total liabilities as our base so na take cash na 32,000 then unsa tong formula na take formula kani FS component, so natay 32,000 na cash divided by atong base, which is total assets, 357,000. So, ang answer ana is 0.0896 nga times 100 para makuha na to ang percentage. So, ang percentage is 8.96%. So, natay 8.96%. So, na. Oh, nara cash divided by total assets nya yeah, times 100 so 8.96 nya yeah, kaning service vehicle mura gihapon ang atorang i-change is ang service vehicle then since asset man siya vehicle ang atong device a uh, divisor is total assets mo na siya atong uh, baseline item then ang atong first service vehicle is 250 divided by atong total assets which is 357,000 so na tay 0.7003 na times 100 para mahimong percentage so 70.03% nya kaning loans payable loans payable divided by our baseline item since ang payable is liability na siya so we will use total liabilities So, natay 25,000 divided by total liabilities which is 274,000. Nya, we have 0.0912 times 100. So, we have 9.12%. Now, na to if mag-match pa. Oh, tanawa ang service vehicle, 70.03%. Unya ang atong loans payable ani uh, 9.12%. So pareha sa atong ikwan. So by the, uh, by the way, di ba nag-mention ko ganina og common size statement. So ang atong financial statement, di ba puro numbers ra man siya, puro peso amounts nga na. Then if imo na siyang i-convert into percentage like this, ngani ang tawag na ana is common size statement. So, mga percentage na siya. So, ang atong uh, line items is gi-express as percentage of a uh, particular baseline item. So, in this case, ang atong baseline item is natay total assets or kaning liability. Uh, depende rin na sa kanang uh, policy uh, or ang need. Depende na sa need, needs sa uh, business kung unsa inyong ganahan nga i baseline item Okay so next we have sa comprehensive income na pud ta so diri ang atong baseline item is ang atong total revenues mao na siya 100,000 ah 100% i mean then to get uh, using total revenue as our base to get salaries and wages so natay salaries and wages na 40,000 nya divided by sa atong baseline item which is total revenue 
uh, ang amount is 190. So, i-divide ra na ni mo na tayo 0 0.2105 times 100 to get the percentage. So, 21.05% ito ng tanawin. Salaries and wages. Kani. So, 40 divided by 190 na tayo 21.05%. Anya, sa Income tax expense. Uh, income tax expense divided by total revenue. So, kane? Um, kaning income tax expense na tayo 2,500. Anya, divided by our total revenue, which is 190,000. So, divide na nato, we get 0 0.0132 anya, times 100, 1.32%. 1.32% po lang na adiri. So, na na siya solution. 1.32%. Uh, uh, sa statement of cash flows, usually, ang baseline item, Ana, is ang, ang total total cash flows from certain activities. So, kani, uh, ang iyang giwa, ang base niya is ang cash flow from operating activities. Unya, kani, sa investing, ang total cash flow, sad. And sa financing, ang iyang baseline is kaning net cash provided by financing activity. So, ang, uh, in determining the baseline item, depende ra na siya sa inyong needs o sa objective sa atong financial statement analysis. So, using cash inflows outflows as our base, mag-determine ta sa uh, mag Vertical analysis ta sa bank loan proceeds. Unsa man ang bank loan proceeds? Kani. Kaning cash received from bank loan. So, under siya sa financing activities. We have 250,000. Divided by our net cash flow from financing activities, which is 286,000. So, we have 87.41 times 100. We have 87.41%. So, kana pareho. Kana, 87.41%. So, vertical analysis makes it easier to understand the correlation between single items on the balance sheet and the bottom line expressed in percentage. So, uh, using vertical analysis, dali rata maka-understand kung uh, unsa nga percent ang na, uh, na-consume anak nga line item. So, for example, dirita. example uh, sa total assets na to na 357,000 ani 357,000 so, meaning 8.96% ana is comprising of cash then ani 70.0 0.03% uh, sa atong total assets is uh, comprises of our service vehicle. So, maka, makakita ta na majority of our assets is na anato gi-invest sa service vehicle. Since, kana man ang dako-dako, 70.03% compared sa uban nga tag Kana 8.96 ra, 4.2% ra, 3.36% ra. So, kaning service vehicle ang dako, medyo dako-dako. Also, kani sa atong total liabilities, sa atong total liabilities sa 274,000, ang majority ana, ang 82.12% ana, is uh, composed of our loans payable. So, 
uh, gamayra uh, gamayra ang atong current liabilities kay ang atong total current liabilities only comprises 17.88% of our total liabilities niya kani sa atong comprehensive income of uh, of our 190,000 total revenue 24.74% ana ang atong net income so meaning ang 73.94% puro expenses okay so makakuan ta nga Unsa man ang atong pinakadako nga expense? So, dirita kaning 21.05%, which is the salaries and wages. Unya ang misunod is kaning 19.47%, which is uh, depreciation of our asset. Unya sunod na ning uban kaning mga 8.95, 7.89. So, kana makahibaw ta. Then, kaning 26.06% di ay ang atong income before tax. So, di ba na-express? Kaning ubang nga line item is gi-express siya as a part uh, of something whole, which is kaning total revenue. So, makakuanta nga. Ah, ang rental di ay nato is 6.32% of our total revenues. So, maano siya. Yeah, next is we have horizontal analysis. Ang atong formula is uh, percentage is equal to most recent value minus base period value divided by base period value times 100. So, what's the meaning horizontal analysis? So, horizontal analysis is the process of Comparing figures of financial statements for two or more consecutive periods. So, two or more consecutive periods. Unlike sa vertical analysis na mag-use retag one financial statement kay one period raman, ang horizontal analysis is we will use two or more periods or two or more financial statements. Then, dapat ka ng consecutive po ang atong, uh, uh, atong periods nga gamiton. So, for example, kani, oh, natay statement of financial position pag 2019, nya, napod tay financial position pag 2020. So, I used two periods. Nya, ang atong formula, most recent value minus base period value divided by base period value times 100. So, for example, dirita, accounts receivable. Ano sa mga yung most recent value, 2020? Ah, most recent value niya pag 2020, which is 15,000. Unya, minus ang atong base period value or ang earlier period nga value, which is 12,500. So, ang difference niya, ang increase niya in peso is 2,500. Nya, kana nga increase nga difference, i-divide na to sa base period value, which is 12,500. So, we have 20%. Nakasunod ra? Okay. Then, kaning atong total non-current assets? Ang atong 2020 nga value is 298. Nya, ang atong... 2019 nga value is 269. So, ni-increase siya o 29,000. I-divide nato na siya sa itong base period value which is 269 Nya, times 100 para makuha ang percentage. So, we have 10.78%. Uh, next example, uh, atong total liabilities. Pag 2020, ang atong total liabilities is 274. Uh, less, ang atong base period value, ang value pag 2019, which is 267,500. So, ni-increase siya o 6,500. 
So, nya, i-divide na to sa atong base period value. 2, 6, 7, 700. Nya, times 100. So, na tay 2.43% increase. Uh, sa comprehensive income is same procedure ra na siya. Ang most recent minus sa uh, atong base period value nya divided by per base period value times 100. So, ang example is kani. Ang internet service is pag 2020 136,000 siya nya minus ang Atong base period value, which is 98,000. So, ni-increase kung may taog, 38,000. Nya, divided by ang atong base period value na 98. So, we have 38.78% increase in percentage. Nya, we have taxes and licenses. 4, 5, minus 6, 8. So, ni-decrease taog 2,300. Kay pag 2019, 6,8 niya. Pag 2020 is 4,5 na lang. So, ni-ubos yun siya. Decrease of 2,300 divided by atong base period value na 6,8. So, we have a decrease of 33.82%. Niya, ang atong net income. Pag 2020 is 47,000 siya. Nya, pag 2019, ang atong net income is only 30,100. So, natay, increase in net income of 16,800. Nya, divided by our base period, which is 30,200 times 100. So, ni-increase siya ug 55.63%. So, Nindot tayo mga number, no? So, horizontal analysis is valuable because analysts assess past performance along with the company's current financial position or growth. Actually, kanang, uh, ang interpretations sa, uh, sa kanang percentages bitaw sa increase or decrease in percentage is uh, it varies from company to company kay kada company is lahilahit man o goals and objectives so basin ang ang kanang ang 10% nga increase sa company A is gamay ra for company B kay ang, ang target sa company B is 30% increase nga na so Mag, ang interpretation is magkalahit-lahit na siya uh, depende sa company goals. So, like what I said, sa, at the start of our analysis, dapat mag-set na daan taog objectives kung unsa ang atong kung para asa or kung, sa, kung unsa ang atong goal and kung para asa atong goal. Anya, di ba, mag-study po ta sa firm's background so, para makaibal ta kung unsa ba, unsa ba di ay ang company goal, unsa nga goals ang ganahan niya ma-achieve ma sa company. So, sa interpretations is na koy sample, sam, koan, uh, samples ra na siya sa kung unsa ang possible nga interpretations nga mabuhat if ni-increase ba ang cash or ni-decrease ba ang atong payable. So, naroon na siya sa module. Pwede rin na ninyo basahan na ito. Nya, kanang, using the percentage gathered, we can create trends which can be used to project future performance. So, kanyang mga trends is, for example, um, Pag 2018 is uh, nakay 10% increase. Uh, for example, sa net income. Pag 2018 is nakay 10% ng increase. Unya, pag 2019 is nakay 15% increase. Unya, pag 2020 is nakay 20% increase. So, makita ni mo nga, from 2018 to 2020 is increasing ang imong uh, net income. So, is it a good sign? Is it a bad sign? Depende rin na siya sa, kuan, sa 
uh, goals and objectives nga ganahan i-achieve sa inyong company. Kanya, kaning trend ratios, uh, magamit po ni siya as benchmark or as uh, benchmark with competitor. So, unsa man ang benchmark ka na? Uh, comparison point. So, magamit na niyo siya uh, to compare your performance with the performance of your competitors. So, naapod tay limitations on financial statement analysis. So, first is uh, comparison of financial data. Kay, namang good tay policy differences na tay uh, differences between uh, company policies kay uh, ang acceptable nga policy sa isa ka company may not be acceptable to another company when other factors are considered. Para ho bitaw sa kanang akong giingon ganina nga ang 10% nga increase ni company A might not be acceptable ni company B kay si company B na siya uh, higher pa nga expected increase. Next is differences in math in accounting methods and oh, okay valuation problem pa di ay valuation problem so uh, na mention niya sa previous na nga module nga historical costs ang atong gamiton sa atong financial statements then historical costs usually do not reflect the current market uh, value of our firm's assets so na na siya nga limitation. Then, we have timing and use of averages. Timing of transactions and use of averages. So, kani is what if kanang si company A is ni purchase siya o daghan na asset karon kunya imo siya. So, uh, possible nga ang ang fixed assets si company A is the og percentage sa iyang total assets unya compare ni mo siya ni company B nga si company B wala pa siya nag-purchase og daghan kayong asset uh, o daghan kayo nga non-fixed asset so possible nga ang iyang fixed assets is gamay ra gamay ra ang ang percentage sa total assets so koan limitation po na siya nga lahi uh, lahi lahi og timing ang kada company unya the need to look beyond ratios so uh, like what i said uh, kanang butan out pud ka sa unsa may economic situation anak nga company so magtan out ka sa industry trends sa changes in technology changes in uh, customer tastes and changes in yeah in the economy unya changes in the company itself so di ba uh, naka mention man ta nga financial statement analysis uh, ang objective niya is mag-assess mag-evaluate sa uh, effectivity uh, effectiveness of the management so what if uh, ana nga period niya nag FS analysis ka is na di ay uh, uh, new takeover or new appointment of management so basin nag-adjust pa ang management sa pag uh, operate sa inyong business so dapat i-consider po na nato siya sa atong analysis so natay conceptual activity number 3 ako na siyang i-post so nga ni siya kaning mga gi-highlight o color blue mao na ang inyong Answeran. So, for example, what is the percentage increase or decrease of the following accounts between years 2020 and 2019? So, natay cash. So, inyong i-determine kung unsa ang percentage increase or decrease. Same sa atong gibuhat ganina, ganina sa example. Unya, natay accounts receivable. Natay inventories and natay trade payables. So, ang atong answers is dapat rounded off na siya into two decimal places. So, horizontal analysis na siya. Unya, kaning number two is vertical analysis sa 
comprehensive income. So, same rapod na siya sa atong gibuhat ganina. Okay? So, if na may mga pangutan na, chat lang nako para o na may uh, pangutan na or kanang na may gikalibugan like mga deadlines or whatsoever, feel free to ask me. So, maroto siya. Thank you very much.